You see, what's done in the dark, oof, hear this in a different way, what's done in the dark will always come to the light. Now, most of you hear that statement and it comes from a negativity, but the truth is, is that from the seed planted in the soil to the sapling, to the tree, to the blossoming, all of that has to go deep into the ground. There is a nurturing and a germination that must happen in the darkness. Blessings and blessings. Ooh, ooh, rah! Yes, yes, and more yes. Welcome, beautiful being. My name is Preston Smiles, and I'm extremely excited to be supporting you today by going through the story slash parable of the golden goose. Now, uh, before we get started into the story, I challenge you, as I tell it, to start to see yourself and the ways in which you are operating just like the farmer. So there once was a farmer who had a bunch of chickens and a bunch of cows and this one goose. And the chickens always laid eggs and the cows always produced milk, but this goose didn't really ever produce and then one day the farmer let go surrendered to the goose being the goose the the farmer accepted the goose as it was and in the moment that he accepted it truly accepted it and stopped begging and beseeching for it to come forward the goose laid a golden egg. And so the farmer, being so excited because he would sell his eggs and his milk at the farmer's market, said, oh my goodness, this is a golden egg. I'm going to take it and sell it at the market. And of course, he went and sold it at the market and immediately made quadruple what he was making for all the other eggs plus the milk. So the farmer, extremely happy, goes back, you know, says, thank you, goose, and goes about his day. And the next morning, he wakes up bright and early, walks out, looks in the little spot where the goose lives, and he sees that there's another golden egg. So now at this point, the farmer is ecstatic. He goes back, sells the egg, He's so excited, so extremely grateful that he starts to buy new equipment. He starts to take care of his family in a different way. He puts up a flat screen TV, buys a new couch. The farmer is bawling, right? He's feeling the feels. Next day, goes out, same thing. Next day, goes out, same thing. Now, at this point, the farmer is starting to get used to this lifestyle. And he began to look at the goose in a different way. He began to look at the goose in such a way that it was no longer a being, a sentient being, a part of an ecosystem connected and directed, doing exactly what the evolutionary impulse of the goose was to do. Now, the farmer started to see dollar signs instead of God. And so one day he gets the idea, why wait? Why wait for the evolutionary process? I'm going to go out there and I'm going to cut this goose open and I'm going to take all the eggs and buy myself a mansion. Well, he goes out and he cuts the goose open and there are no eggs. And the farmer quickly realizes that he made a mistake. And then he goes back and forth into his mind about how he's cursed and how he's not worthy. 
And he starts to think about other goose that he can buy. And he's going back and forth. And his mind is just all over the place because he's become accustomed to this way of being that operates from more, better, different. He's got to have more eggs. He's got to have a better house. He's got to have a different partner, a different car, a different tractor. I hope you're picking up what I'm putting down because the moral of the story is, and there's so many morals of the story, but the first one is we do not get to skip past the process that is natural to us. It's not personal, it's principle. And when the farmer tried to skip past the principle, the law of gravity is not personal, it is principle. So when he tried to skip past it, he instantly blocked his blessings. You see what's done in the dark, oof, hear this in a different way, what's done in the dark will always come to the light. Now, most of you hear that statement and it comes from a negativity, but the truth is, is that from the seed planted in the soil to the sapling, to the tree, to the blossoming, all of that has to go deep into the ground. There is a nurturing and a germination that must happen in the darkness. And when we try to skip past the darkness, to hurry up and get there, to prove that we're good enough, to prove and use money and, and materials as a barometer as to whether life is working out or working for or working against us. When we use those things as a tool, as a barometer, as a measuring stick, we are slaves in that moment. So I invite you to take a look, another look, at where in your life right now you're trying to skip past the process. As I tell you what, you can't have caterpillar consciousness and expect to fly with those butterfly wings. The consciousness must match the wings. Mm, and the universe is looking for willing channels to pour through. But it's asking you to yield. It's asking you to move out of the way. It's asking you to be patient and trust the process because it's never ever failed you. If you're still here, it has not failed you. It maybe failed your personality, your, your current cognition, your current understanding. But the truth of the matter is just like the chaos theory, which states if you pull far enough back, you will see the fundamental order of everything. All of it, perfect. All of it, one thing, one verse, a universe, connected and directed. There's a moment when the, when the chick is inside of the egg where there's an evolutionary impulse to peck. There's a moment when you were inside of your mother where something said, heart start now, zoom, zoom. And your heart started beating. Well, you think that stops at those moments? Nah, nah, it's still going. But we've all become like the farmer trying to get more, better, different. We're so busy trying to get the next thing that we miss what is currently occurring. That there's a germination, that there's a season for us to move through, to be with. So my friends, 
I challenge you to let go and let God. I challenge you to let go and let flow. There's so much, so much trying to move, but you're too busy trying to direct it in the way that you, your personality, and your personality is shaped by your programming, and your programming is shaped by your family, and film, and television, and the church, and all the other things that you've been subjected to. Hundreds of millions of impressions upon your young psyche. So the invitation is to let go of what you think you know and allow yourself to be used by the great knower. Mm. And so it is, so shall it be. I appreciate each and every one of you. If this resonated in any way, send it to a friend right now. Say, you got to listen to this. Blessings and blessings. Go to PrestonSmiles.com. I release all kinds of beautiful magic if you want to work with me on there.